So instead of uh, this week in clinic, this is a last week in clinic and a family who came here at different points, all of them saying this. So let us look at what that actually means. Okay, plantar fasciitis. Plantar, the sole of your foot. Fascia, an element of soft tissue on the sole of your foot. Itis. The British Medical Journal said it's not an itis about maybe seven years ago. Okay, and certainly from uh, our own experience here in clinic, that does seem to be about right. Okay, so what we've got is we've got our foot here and the plantar fascia in an anatomical terms on most um, anatomy charts would be the tissue running from here to the calcaneus, the, the, um, the heel bone here. So it runs in a stream underneath here. So what that means is it sits underneath the arch of the foot and it, it kind of sits in under there and provides a spring to the foot. And therefore, if the foot is squashed, if for instance, the foot is, instead of being balanced out to the side slightly like that, but the person pronates in and squashes in, the pressure being put on the plantar fascia is enormous, okay? So if we're looking at plantar fascia here, we're looking at why have we got problems with plantar fasciitis, and there's a number of things we would look at. So as you can see here, we've artificially created this person so that they have a shorter leg and a longer leg, and that's not done by <laughs> them really having a shorter leg and a longer leg. In fact, it's pretty rare relatively to have an actual biomechanically significant shorter leg and longer leg, um, but it's normally the tissue tensions. So here I am, I've got a higher shoulder and a lower shoulder, but oh hey, now I've got a higher shoulder and a lower shoulder. It's simply the elastic bands in our body. So what we're looking at is why has this person got a collapsed foot? Is it because their foot's turned in? Is it because their foot is um, overloaded with a lot of a bulk of weight on, on the, the feet coming down. Uh, could be a lot of adipose, could be um, somebody who uh, has done a lot of weight building, has got a lot of muscle tone or whatever. But also more than that, um, you know, it could be that they stand on one leg more to create this imbalance, or it could be that they have a tight front line because they spend a lot of time sitting at, say, a computer like this, loaded forward. And, um, and as a result, their, their front line is stretched, uh, sorry, it's, it's tightened, and their back line is stretched. And when they stand up, they will probably still carry some of that forward tensioning. And the, the fascia, um, in anatomy trains terms, uh, so this is, you know, sort of, they've looked biomechanically and um, anatomically at it with dissection. You know, the, there is a line of fascia that runs from the sort of centre of your eyebrow runs down one side of your back and under your foot. And that's where you start to see how if you're borrowing the tissue up here, then you're losing it somewhere along that line because you're pulling this front side um, forward and, and tightening it. So we're looking at all of those um, aspects and we're working out which elastic bands in you are too tight, pulling you at these different angles. And when we correct that, a lot of the time we can sort plantar fasciitis. However, remember, plantar fasciitis, plant to the sole of your foot, fascia this piece of tissue, no itis. So it means there's something the matter with the sole of your foot, but we don't know what, it's just something the matter with the sole of your foot. So we are working to relieve the pressure on this foot by changing the, the biomechanics. And sometimes we need to do some release work here on the uh, on the tissues to get the layers to separate. So in in our um, in our soft tissue work, we understand that the derma is separate layers and they should slide against each other. But if for a long time they've been compressed, and if um, for instance there's been some uh, sort of tearing, cracking, whatever the adhesions could have formed and things like that. So sometimes we need to do a little bit of that as well. But basically, we're not curing plantar fasciitis, we're addressing something that is termed as plantar fasciitis, but is really something the matter with the sole of your foot, and using Bowen therapy, um, and, and sort of basically 
talking to the soft tissues and getting tight areas to release, we resolve issues often quite magically. Thank you.